you see this you see first of all you see this shine this shine is the power of ori like you need to add ori into your like beauty care regimen um regimen or whatever you need to add ori and for those who doesn't know what ori is shea butter you need to add shea butter to your beauty products like Look at that shine, that shine. But anyways, and then look at all these dark spots that I have. Look at all these dark spots. Look at them. Like I've been trying to get rid of them. If you know, if you know me since, since, since this thing is still there, and also me, I wouldn't stop picking on it. So. But anyways, and oh my goodness, I want to show you something. If you also know me, you know that my hair is coarse. Don't you just like love all those like girls like when they like, go shopping and then they can just take out any gel that will actually lay down their baby edge? No, I tried so many gel. I tried like this eco whatever. I don't know. But I tried so many, yeah, like I honestly tried so many of them. And then just one day, one day out of nowhere, I tried this. Yeah, I tried this out of nowhere. And it worked. It actually laid down at my edge. Like, look at this. Look at this. This is the Got to Be Ultra Glue. Got to Be Extra, extra Large. And you know, I'm going to tell you a story about this um, gel. So when I did, so I did my graduation, my grade 12 graduation in 2012. In my city, they always like um, do Cinderella projects for grade 12 students, just for ladies. So like there's no Prince Charming um, project. There's only like Cinderella projects. So, and they gave us like, I got like this beautiful black, and white dress that I still have. Like I kept that dress since 2012 and it's still with me. Like right now it's in my sister's room. Like this dress is still with me. I don't know if to sell it or if it's to just throw it away, but it just gives me that kind of memory that I, every time I look at that dress and like, I just want to keep it. And I don't want to throw it away. I'm going to do this a little makeup like as I talk this, oh, why not? I haven't done this in so long. I haven't actually sit down to do makeup and talk in so long. Yeah. I think the last time I did this was like last year. Like maybe around November or December. But anyways, honestly, I'm still using Rare Beauty. Honestly, I like this. It is very... And besides using... Um, Shea butter, I like on it. I, I, I feel like putting foundation will just bring this shine on my face. I don't want to, but but anyway, yeah, we're just gonna try it. I don't think this foundation is very light. I mean, I got the 510W, and that's the la because they have, I think, Rare Beauty have like three dark shades. When I was buying my, it has three dark shades or four, and I either took the third to the last or the fourth to the last so it's not it looks light on camera but it's actually not light like i don't think so look it actually looks light on camera. let me turn down this light you see you see the difference now now that the light is off see the difference it's actually not that dark so oh Hold on. I'm trying to see which one that I can use that's not going to be too much. Oh, now this is bright. <laughs> I think this is okay. Is that too much? I hope it's not too much. Is that too much? Now this is too much. Is this okay ish? 
What happened? I feel like I got the right thing before. But anyways. Yeah, this feel like it's so much. Uh, it feels like it's too much. I think I like this pattern, so it's not blinding my head. Anyways, but I still have the graduation dress in my sister's room, and I hope she doesn't get mad and throw it out because we are gonna get into a fight. There's no Prince Charming kind of projects like that, but there is for ladies so in my 2012 me and my friends we went i got it and they gave us so many other things too like they gave us this you i i got the i got the dress i got this black scarf that i used throughout my university years like i still use as in hijab like it's a beautiful like like it's really nice i i think i should still have that scarf too because why not i mean i still have the dress and then we got i got like this necklace i still have the necklace i'm not a hoarder i'm not a hoarder yeah i still have it this is the herring this is the herring that i got for my graduation in grade 12. like i got the herring and the um i got the herring and the necklace that goes with it and i and i still keep them I think I learned this from my mom. She keeps stuff like, what if you need it someday? So I just keep it. Yeah, I definitely learned from her. Even like school notes, like school notes. I still have my university school notes. Like I have like this bag that I still I have all most of them. So here, so this is my this is the necklace that I got for my grade twelve graduation. And there's the earring that goes with it. So I got the scarf, I got the dress, um, and they gave us beauty products. And among the beauty products they gave us was this. I don't even know why I took it that day. I had no idea. Like, honestly, I don't know why I took it. But I think they have, like, quite a few of them. They have, like, this yellow one and black one. And maybe I got the yellow one or black one. I don't know. I think I got the black one. Oh, is it yellow one? I don't know. But I got it. Oh no, I still have and I also have the yellow one. Or maybe I got one and one of my friends gave me hers because she wouldn't need it. So that's how I have to. Yeah. Or maybe I got the another one in some other place. But anyways, so I have that that extra large Excel um this gel thing. I also have the yellow one. And then I never Oh yeah, and I got blow dry bow dryer. Is that no no not bow dryer? I didn't get bow dryer. I got mousse mousse that I never used to. <laughs> I never used this mousse. I like never never. It's just in the bathroom that I share with my siblings. Like it's just there. With the glue, yeah, it's just there. And I didn't use it. I didn't. I didn't even. I I I tried the mousse like. Maybe after some months or years, but I never tried the gel because I didn't even know how to use. I wasn't into like beauty stuff back then. I was just into foundations and braiding my hair, styling my hair. There's nothing like um, gel or mousse. That's why the understanding that I had was that it's only like white people, Caucasian, or people that have like um, silky kind of hair. Not like my coarse hair that will be using mousse, so I never really like just use it because because of that. And I still didn't use it because what would I use it for? I mean, most of the time I'm only doing like braids, like weavings. I don't wear attachment. Well, I wear attachment to my like Ghana weaving and all those kind of braids. But I don't do weaves as an extension, as in like long extension that it's flowy or um, wigs. If I use wigs, maybe I would use it then. But I, since I don't do kind of style of hair, so I never get to use that mousse. Yeah, I use it on my sister's hair later on. Maybe like six or seven years after we did, I did her hair and like we need and. I just, even before I use it, I Google the reason to use it 
before I use it on the hair just to make sure that we're using it properly because I actually have no idea how to so for the glue I never never use it but then one day I mean after this was after I've, I've tried using so many other glues oh sorry so many other gel but then like I saw it in my in my washroom and my sister was like this is a gel why don't you use it on your hair we were going out that day and she was like why don't you use this one instead well and i was like it doesn't really work for me and all that you know all that kind of excuse but i i used it that day and it actually worked it actually worked you have no idea how many gels that i've tried and this was just this because i think they understand my understanding was like it's just going to be the same thing as i've always, as I've always used so i never cut around to like use it <laughs> Yeah, I, will, I, will, I always had that, that understanding and since everything else doesn't work, this one will probably not work. And it was just sitting there. I don't know why. Why haven't I just threw it away? But anyway, so I tried it that day and it actually worked. Like, it actually worked. And since then, I've been using this glue. And since 2012 that I got this glue, imagine. And then I'm only using it probably eight years for the first time eight years afterward eight years and like i don't know if it has expired it doesn't look like it's expired it says 2000 well um, copyright 2013 here but i don't know if it has expired <laughs> yeah it says 260 mil extra large 33 percent Like, I don't know if it's, it, it doesn't say that it's expired. Huh? <laughs> if I'm going to work and if I have time, I will use it. Like maybe I go already like an hour earlier and I was like, you know what, what else can I do to beautify my face before I go to work? I might use it then. Like I'll just like, maybe put it. And honestly, it will work. And like, you have no idea. My hair is coarse. Other um, gel that I see out in the world are just to they, they don't lay down my hair. They like they don't. I tried so many. They don't. Like I actually use my money to buy other gel when I actually have something in my house that that works just fine. Moral of the story: Try. You never know. You never know. Honestly, you do never know. So, and yeah, and you know, I don't know about you guys, but I use pantyhose, like I cut them, like they cut the other part out and use the, the longer, like the leg part as a cap, like an undercap, especially like sometimes for my hijab and some things like that. Or when I'm just at home. Or sometimes I even like use it like as a bonnet and go to sleep with them. Or you or those net cap, like those one that you use for like um wig. Yeah, wig when you sew on the stuff. Actually they work really well. Like sometimes if I don't use this um gel and I use just the undercap, it's also laid down my hair like that's another beauty hack. If you have like those pantyhose, just cut the end part and wear it. It will also lay down your hair, especially if you don't have gel. I have my coarse kind of hair, my texture, my hair texture. It also lay down your hair. I mean, it works for me, so I'm just telling you. I feel like the will read the shea butter is still shining through. Okay, so, you know, honestly, like, what I actually want to do today was try, like, styling at my eyes, like, eyeliner. I don't really use makeup. Like, I don't use it a lot. Unless I'm going to, like, parties or maybe I'm going to an event or... 
possibly when I'm on my period and I don't have to like pray because I don't want um, like makeup in interfering with when I have to like do ablution and something like that. So I want to like really cut back into it. Or if maybe I think there are maybe like waterproof or something like that makeup this is. But the understanding was that you know if you are going to pray, the when you're doing your withdrawal or ablution, the water have to penetrate into your skin. It's is it water? Is that is it? Let me not. I'm not fumble on Arabic. Um, it's necessary. It's important. And if it doesn't touch that, it's kind of invalidates your wudu and eventually your salah. So I want to cut back on that. And honestly, I actually I think I I think Alhamdulillah I may I did a candy job in that because I don't use it a lot. But you know. But when I'm on my period, sometimes, or even when I'm, even when I am on my period, I sometimes just don't use it. But if I'm going to parties or something like that, events, something like that, I need to look good or look the part. Of course, then I will use it then. But one thing that I usually do use, like even if I'm not going to use foundation or anything, I use um, eyelining, eyelining or eyeliner, whatever. And then I use my brow, just that all. Because honestly, and those two really enhance everything. But they, I think the purpose of makeup is just to enhance your future. So I enhance and elaborate, make everything just go out or smooth everything out. Um, and I think eyeliner and brow pencil or brow gel or whatever do a pretty good job at that. And today I'm just doing that. Honestly, that's all I'm doing. I do my eyelining in different ways, in different styles. So I just want to find out which one is good. And if you can also help me out, maybe just which one is good. I have like this one that I usually do like. It kind of give my eye another kind of shape. And I really like that. But every time I try it, I don't. But I don't always get it. And so I just kind of. So today I actually want to try it and see. And if you watch my other video, especially my Ramadan, no, my Ramadan week four Ramadan and the yeah the week four Ramadan and Eid vlog or video, I had I had found out that if you use your glasses, if you see my makeup kit thing, you'd be like, what? Why are you still using this? I used to have this blue one. Even I have like um, this pink one here, I just don't use it. And I use Fenty. This thing is magnetic. It's actually magnetic. Yeah, it's magnetic. So. Oh. And you know what? I also have. Um brushes that i can use in high school i did um cosmetology and then i have this certificate of like makeup in certificates <laughs> i actually do i have for nail artistry and makeup into <laughs> you know one day i was just there and i was looking like all this beautiful makeup. i was like wow how do you do this and even though i am kind of like good at doing makeup and everything like that but i'm not like pro like that so i was like you know what i'm just gonna go to take a class and i did the class i got my certificate yeah i actually did the class and i got my certificate yeah this is my kind of makeup like not so much just you have to wash it out anyway, so I don't know why you... I mean, like, that's just me. Everyone is different. Yeah, another reason why I kind of, like, don't do makeup in so much anymore is because of my hijab. I mean, if you are... If you're wearing, like, a deeper color kind of hijab, like, black or all those, like, burgundy, 
burgundy 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 or wine color can you job you you can maybe like get saved by that but if you're wearing the lighter ones like i'm doing now it's kind of like give you another work to do so you just kind of wait it's like is it really worth it doing all this uh, makeup in and you know what the, it's not every time that you're going to get all these things out because sometimes they get stuck on there and then they don't leave so. and you know for me it's just you know you have like all those other kind of um other kind of arguments coming in as in like is it, is it even halal to be wearing this makeup? To be even doing it? And all this kind of thing. And even to be making videos like this, is it even halal? Da, 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 da. Like you have all those kind of... All those kind of arguments. Like honestly, I feel like for the longest time, the reason why I didn't make videos it's because of like you know it could be like the harem because i'm pretty sure like at a point there was this notion that making videos is harem and just like maybe don't do it but anyways now i'm going to show you my beauty hack this is a prescription glass, so if you have like those kind of designer ones, I don't know if it will work. But mine is a prescri uh, mine is prescribed, so you know, and they, you know they measure everything for you like that. So see, I, I, like the the frame just can just give me the support that I need, so it doesn't waver, and then my pencil. The pencil doesn't like go off way or offline, and even if it goes there, you can just kind of work it and yeah. Like I was going, it was it, and I was like, I wasn't going to do my eyebrow for it, but then I realized that I have like some time, so I was like, let me try this, and I already wore my glasses, so I just pick out the the brow and I was like and then I didn't want to remove my glasses so I was like let me just do this real quick and voila it's worked out see this it's even stopped me from like going further to like I can like go like this and like see see that is all you need look at how perfectly that turned out and i didn't have to like lift my hand and be struggling and everything like that so but prescribed glasses you got it and my glasses the frame matches the scarf so like <laughs> i kind of like those kind of glasses that just give you the they are clear that's my kind of glasses. They clear, like clear. I feel like the other ones, if, especially if it's very bold, like dark, they kind of exaggerate. I don't know if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so let's start with what we are actually here to do. So this. The one I actually like, I usually kind of start here, almost towards to the center, but not exactly. I'll fill it in. Like, um, I wish I had a glass here. I think I should, but I don't know where it is. I think I should actually, and I don't know where it is. So this is the kind, this is the first one that I actually kind of go for. Um, I'm going to fill it in. I 
Alright, so this is the first one that I usually kind of go for. Like just at the edge there. And most often I'll add I'll add under here too. Because I feel like sometimes when I don't, it makes my eyes look pale. So I usually just kind of like, just to balance it out. This side, I got it more than, let me see. Yeah, I need to curve this a little bit more. One second, I'll back. So yeah, that's the first one that I usually kind of go for. It just stay right there. And it usually kind of suits me. No, not kind of. It usually suits me. That's what I've noticed. And then I'm wondering. This do this is usually the one that I want to get. Like, if you ask me what kind of eyeliner kind of style do you do, it, this it this will be it. But then I don't get it often. Like I don't get it most of the time. And I'm actually thinking. That's maybe if I do before my eyes kind of look like it's wide apart, like it's very distant from each other. I know, and you know, I told you that I co took a cosmetics class, and I know that there is some highly eyelining kind of style that you can do that will give the impression that you have that your eyes are close together. And I want to say that it's if you add something like this. <laughs> now that is two styles like that. I want to do this in like a whole kind of video i don't want to be cleaning as i go along so this is how i'm going to be doing it so this is the second style like you do some kind of line here and then at the corner of the eye and just leave the this part like with nothing it gives that impression especially at the bottom that every part of the eyes is lined when it's actually like just the outer corner and the inner corner here and then sometimes let me do the one that I also like I create like another line on top like this just a tiny little line on there so I hope you've seen you I hope you see what I did here let me close my eyes a little and I added another like a tiny line over like that. I hope you can I hope you see that. And then I add another tiny line this like down here. Here. I mean you can do this, you can even bring those tiny those line all the way in or all the way in there. But this will be like something that it's extra like if you're going to or I don't know, fashion shoe or something like that. Yeah. And just kind of style that I kind of do for my eyelining. If I do something like the first one that I did, if I do that like that, then I put, add like a tiny line, mostly on top. I usually just do it mostly on top because by the time I get that top one, I feel like that's okay because if I don't go further like the whole thing or go down to I might feel like I ruin it you know like when they say less is more simple simplicity yeah something like that something like that uh, you are good I know like for this one for this one the tiny line you can even connect it to the uh, the first one that I have you can connect it but i haven't connected my i just leave it like that like i guess makeup is just kind of like be flexible explore and like um trial scenario and all those and you will get it so i hope this has been eventful like honestly do, being a content creator is actually quite a hard job because like you have to have the idea 
plan it out and then yeah and then edit and then post just that my hair can gel down like I'm like it's okay anyways this is usually my kind of my kind of style for my eyes maybe I should just do the last one and call it today so the last one would just be like joining this part just joining the top one and just the line the part that I didn't line before just to join it for me I honestly if I could get my top of my eyes done that's my eyeliner and but also some parts of the lower part especially the corners I don't usually bring it in because I feel because I feel like that hurts me because if I bring it in then like I start crying like I actually start crying like my eyes start getting red so I usually just do it at the corner and then there and but and you know doing eyelining kind of and makeup in between it's like it's like you're doing surgery you got to balance your hand or you're going to be cleaning a lot but if you have to be realistic like realistically if you want like apply the surgery kind of method there like you don't want to be like making mistake every so often because that's not good that's not good so yeah precision precision matters and balance matter like steady your hand like that that steadiness you got to so just me like lining this part then bring it in and honestly that's all it's just so sad that i don't have a mirror because then i could do a better job with a mirror <laughs> i have it like a wall mirror so that's why i'm standing up a lot okay so i hope you can tell i i did just around this part let me actually use this just around the part that i didn't like do before at the up on the upper eyelid I like line that and join it with the with the tiny line that I made on this side and also on this side too and I just joined that with the regular eyeliner that I did at first and then that's it so for me that's my kind of eyeliner and if I want to go a little bit extra I add the tiny lines but like honestly I don't get it often because it's it, like I said before doing this makeup and thing especially eyelining is like been in surgery or so um yeah but i hope that's eventful and i guess if you want to go if you want to do two kind of style especially with makeup in and especially with um eyelining or whatever like that or even eyebrows sometimes i've seen like alternative kind of style on your eyebrow too um if you want to do that maybe you want you want you don't want to do too much or too extra that it turn into a chaos if you get what i mean like i know i use black eyeliner for everything i'm for everything i did now but maybe with your tiny line you want to use a color eyeliner maybe blue or white i usually realize that white eyeliner actually looks quite well on me so if you want to do something like that it's like the tiny line you might swap it for a colored maybe blue white those colors i feel they safe even green is a little bit safe if you're doing red then you're going to i don't know fashion shows i don't know <laughs> that is my video today you know i almost didn't make this video like i said being a content creator is actually a hard job and i see that people have been watching my stuff but are not clicking on the like button like honestly please i'm still new in this thing like even though i've been doing it for quite a while since 2008 
or if you miss it, it's in 2015. <laughs> but I do. I rarely post like in 2015. No, I re I don't ever post anything except one video for my class, and that was all. And then for and then I started actually posting regularly since 2018. So please please if you when if you watch or when you watch do not forget to subscribe like share comments and yeah just it will really help me and it will make me feel like i'm actually doing something like and i'm actually sharing something that you benefit from that you benefited from or that is advantageous in any ways so please do not forget to like comment and share because for me i know me too, i do this too when i watch youtube videos i will comment but i will totally forget about the like button like i'll comment but i wouldn't i don't just remember i don't know why i just don't remember but i'll comment and then i wouldn't i forget about the like button but please please do comment share like and it really helped me out a lot and it will push me further, encourage me further to keep going and keep trying. So thank you. If you see me again using this kind of hijab, it's because I'm making another video after this because I want to, I've been postponing this and I don't want to, well, I haven't been postponing this topic, but I just didn't get the right time. I wanted it to come like during Ramadan, but it didn't work out. So I'm, Doing, gonna do it now again like i don't know did i say salam alaikum hello hi salam alaikum and welcome to my channel it is aisha if you're new here don't forget to like please share comment and subscribe i want to grow this youtube channel i actually don't want to grow it and that wouldn't be possible without you without your support without clicking the like button the comments button the share button and what else and subscribing is that all yeah that wouldn't happen like i would i wouldn't be able to grow without your support and of course without Allah, i hope he sees me through he helps me through okay anyways thank you and I'll see you again in another video. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do this mascara thing, so I'm just gonna add it now. Just to complete the whole thing. So, the mascara is on now. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I... I do you guys also use still use um, mascara to like brush or comb your brows? I still do it. I still do it. I've always actually kind of do it, except before. But before I used to just use comb, like you know all those small combs, brush it, apply water on the comb, or apply some water on your brows, comb it, and like line it through it's i learned this from my auntie like old school kind of makeup that still works you got it there you go but yeah this is the whole complete look now 